Today's video, I install these lights and make a filtered fume extractor using this Vivor ventilation fan. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be installing an air extraction for the garage slash paint booth. I'm going to be cutting a hole out here and installing this unit that was sent to me by Vivor. And this is it. We're going to go ahead and unbox and review this as well. They sent me this. Uh, to do a review on i did not get paid any money to do a review on this but they did send me the product we are going to cut a hole and use this 20 by 20 filter and i'm gonna make a little frame for it and it'll just basically slide in and that will pull the fumes out this unit will be on the outside and it is waterproof unit and an explosion proof fan so these are actually what you'd use for the inflatable paint booths and it's from what i can tell it's a really good product but for sure we'll know once we actually go to use it um, also, if you don't know and aren't familiar, I built this garage door and put up these walls. This used to be a carport and we've already got a paint job done in here and we definitely need the air extraction to pull it out. But this one will be getting painted in the near future, a, a desert tan color, and then it'll be going desert tan bedline. So it'll be really cool and we will use that air extraction to pull those fumes out from this. Now we have fresh air right here that comes directly from outside. I put a vent on both sides, so both vents have to be open for the fresh air to come in. And both vents getting closed, no cold air comes in, so it's really nice. It'll allow fresh air to come in over here. And the exhaust fumes will go out that direction because it actually has a little tunnel that goes with these fans um, if it's in this box, which we will find out here shortly. Um, that way we can actually move it farther away so that the fumes aren't just recirculating back in and just going back out and just repeating. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the tripod and we'll get that box open. Very neatly packed in there. The styrofoam did its job and protected this during shipping. There's a spot that got damaged. So the styrofoam did a pretty good job at protecting that, so I like that they uh, protect it with that styrofoam. This will be linked in the description as well. Alright, so here it is. has a nice little spot to carry it. The on and off switch is right there. It says airflow. The airflow will that go that way, so it'll suck the exhaust fumes this way and blow them out that way. And it has a metal shield around it to keep bigger animals like cats and you know rabbits or whatever you may have out in your yard trying to get in. It'll keep them out. So very nice. Definitely looks like a pretty good unit, but we won't know until we actually hook it all up. So this is the piece that goes to the back side. So that way it can suck air uh, through this long tube so that can be far away from wherever you're working or if you wanted to put it on the other end you could do that and blow fresh air up into like an attic or something like that because it gets hot in the attic especially here in Texas. I forgot to mention it does have this uh, plug on it which this is the ground fault circuit interrupter so if there's ever an issue it'll pop a little breaker in here and you can reset if needed but it's a pretty nice looking unit, so we're going to go ahead, get the measurements for the hole, get it cut out, and we'll go from there. So. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is finding a location. I think I'm going to go about right here with it. I'm not going to be all the way on the ground, it's going to be lifted up a little bit. And if we measure right now, it's 20 inches. So this thing is 20 inches wide, by 20 inches tall, by 20 inches, it's 20 by 20. And we're basically just going to make a line and cut all the 20 by 20s. So we can make a frame that sits around here. And this will basically just slide into that frame. And we can replace the filter anytime we need to. So I'm going to go ahead and start marking everything, getting everything cut, cut a hole out, and then we will go from there.
right, so here it is. Got the hole cut. I put the plastic chicken mesh around so no animals or anything can get in this. Um, I went ahead and put this little frame edge here and down here. So now all we have to do is just slide the filter right down in there. So there it is. Now I am gonna go ahead and put some sealant around these edges because I feel cold air coming from behind there and all the way around the best I can. And then on the outside, I'll probably end up using that board and some of the foam and making a door that covers it up for when it's not in use, but I'm gonna go show you the outside. All right, so this is what it looks like on the outside. It's not a perfect cut. I am not very good at cutting those holes, but it has the mesh and everything's good there. And I got the hose all stretched out and it can go out a little bit further. This is just so that you can see. Get this stretched over to the hole and this has a little metal latch. I could actually just kind of screw it in there for whenever I'm needing it screwed in to hold it in place. And now it goes right up to it and it'll suck the air from the garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some power ran to this and I'm gonna test it using a little bit of paint and we'll see how good it sucks the fumes. All right, so it has a low mode, which we will test first. It's not too loud on low. I'll go ahead and test the high mode. Oh yeah, that thing's powerful. I'll go ahead and put this back on because it moved. Yeah, seems pretty powerful. It's definitely louder on high. Now we'll go into the garage. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh yeah, that's definitely pulling the air in. Now I do have the vent over here on both inside and outside open. All right, so I put some of this little stuff from the Christmas tree right there. And if I open it, you can see that it's moving. So it's actually pulling the air in, which is awesome. So it's doing exactly what it is designed to do. Got a little piece of wood. We're gonna test paint real quick with some yellow. We're going to see how it pulls those fumes. You can see, painting way down here, the fumes are just going straight up. Working perfectly. I don't care about that piece. I'm just using it to test. And you can see the fumes were sucked straight out. So, this will work pretty good. I'm going to test it way over here and spray this way. You can see it's just pulling it straight out. I can't even smell the paint. So that's awesome. So that is officially done. And I definitely have to say this Vivor unit pulls a lot of air because of how long that hose is. And it's still being able to pull this good. I'm probably not going to use that hose. So I'm going to show you how I'm most likely going to run it. All right. So this is how it's going to be set up outside. Um, we will end up building a box around it just to keep it out of the elements and I will mount this to the wall somehow. I'll figure that out. But you can see in there, everything's got mesh, screens, and all that so it should keep out any, you know, mice or anything big that can get in, especially cats and dogs. Our dog was just sniffing it. But yeah, that's how I'm most likely going to run it. And it has a low mode and a high mode. So I'm going to show you the low mode. It's going to get loud and I'm going to go inside and show you. The low isn't near as high, uh, loud as the high, obviously. And here's the high. So now I'm gonna go in and show you. It is really loud, but I can feel it sucking that air in. And, as a result, it's sucking the air through here. You can see 
So it's definitely pulling fresh air in and extracting the air out. So this will work perfect for my spray can jobs and my bed liner jobs. So definitely works. So when I'm not using it, this is what it'll look like. I just have four screws holding it in with some insulation on the back of it. I will paint it and put some hinges on it so that way I can hinge it open, put the fan up there when I need it, and then close it back up when I'm not painting so that way all the heat in the garage during the winter stays in and all the cold in the garage stays during the summer. So this will work for now and then we can uh, get hinges later on. All right, so there it is for the Vivor ventilation fan extraction. Uh, this works really well for the paint fumes and if you're worried about noise, just move it farther away from wherever you're painting and just use the hose but I like the suction power it has being right up against it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If it's too noisy when I'm trying to record videos, I'll just move it out and use the, the big hose here. Uh, I also went ahead and installed some shop lights that were sent to me by my good friend Joe. Uh, he sent them to me and I just wired them up using a daisy chain connecting them. And we got both sides very well lit in here so that when I go to paint the EM2, I'll have plenty of lighting and you'll be able to see it perfectly fine. So, a uh, huge thank you goes to Joe for sending those. He knew I needed some lighting and he provided, so I just had to give him credit where it's due. As for the Vivor unit, I give it a 10 out of 10 or a 5 stars out of 5 stars, however you want to rate it. This thing is awesome. And you can even hook it up the other way around on this part with the end blowing the air in. So if you need to get some fresh, cool air in, um, you just hook that up on the opposite end. So instead of hooking it up on the exhaust side, you'd hook it up on the blower side. So really cool and definitely worth every penny. It will be linked in the description below. And soon enough, we'll be able to get this thing painted, which this car will most likely be going to my good friend, Eddie. He needs a good daily and this is a good daily, but we wanted it painted first before that happens. I want it to be nice and durable. He'll just be driving it to job sites and stuff like that. He does a lot of construction type work and he's not worried about all the hell dents. Um, we are going to try to knock as much of them down and bond to them as good as we can, but we will definitely see what we can do. Get it sanded, painted this. It's called sand, but it's a desert tan color. And then we're going to be going over that desert tan with desert tan Raptor liner. So there'll be two videos, one a spray can video with a high gloss. And the second one will be with it being bedlined and we'll get to actually use that with it extracting the air out so it's definitely a very nice unit for sure and having these lights is going to make a tremendous difference but uh, if you're worried about fumes you could always put another filter on the other side that way it's double filtered one filter pulling the air and then filtering the clean air coming out or however you want to figure it out. This works for me. And if you're working out of a little garage and you're renting or something and you can't cut holes into it, um, then you could actually just run that vent tube inside the garage to pull the fumes out. As long as you're just using like spray paint and stuff, you start using something more toxic with spray gun, then you'll definitely have to have a filtration set up for sure. Uh, this is just to be safe. Um, we live out in the country now and we're not having to worry about the fumes affecting neighbors or anything like that. So this works great for us. But that's basically it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. I have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of videos to edit still. So I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. It helps me a lot if you hit the like button, drop comments, and listen to the outro at the end of every video. And here it is. I just want to let you know that God loves you so much. He sent his only son to be the propitiation for your sin. God is calling you. Time is running out and he wants you. He loves you and he'll take you exactly as you are. He doesn't need you to change to come to him. Once you come to him, he will be the change in you. I'm living proof of this and I don't preach that prosperity gospel stuff, but I can tell you this much. God has moved mountains in our lives, financially speaking, and he has moved our emotional state all kinds of things and he can do the same for you. So if you've been going through a really rough time and you just feel like there has to be more to life, there definitely is. So definitely reach out to him. He's reaching out for you and he wants a personal relationship with you. He doesn't want your religion. He doesn't want your rules and this and that. He just wants your heart. So reach out to him, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth and you'll be saved. Definitely look more into it. There will be a free Bible download in the description. God bless each and every one of you and I'll see you in the next video. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you.